If you are hoping for some election year goodies in the federal budget, get ready to be sorely disappointed. Malcolm Turnbull set the scene for a no-frills affair on May the 3rd, saying the budget won't be about a fistful of dollars. From Canberra, here's political reporter Eliza Borello. A friendly, familiar crowd is always handy when you want to hit the reset button in politics. In case anyone's forgotten, government ministers used a gathering of the party faithful to paint a portrait of the man that is Malcolm Turnbull. As a young child, he grew up for the most part in a home with a single parent. A scholarship student who worked hard. To be named the top all-round student in the state of New South Wales. A lawyer turned businessman. He achieved in his own right and he helped craft the future. And the man who now holds the highest office in the land. The Prime Minister of Australia, Malcolm Turnbull. The PM was quick to finish the profile refresher. He likes public transport. Good morning. Another beautiful Melbourne day. And another couple of days in Melbourne uh, as usual, indulging in my passion for Melbourne's trams. And he's not Bill Shorten. In this election e year, there is only one central issue. Whether we complete our transition to the new economy or we allow Labor to kill off that opportunity. The speech also marked the PM's first attempt to soften voters up for an election year budget short on sweeteners. This budget will not be about a fistful of dollars. It will be about prudence fairness and responsibility to our future generations. But on the unofficial campaign trail, his deputy indicated there'd be money for some. We're very excited at the prospect of delivering a budget that will have in it um, measures that will support particularly small businesses. This is a government with no plan for Australia's economy. The Coalition's now confirmed Labor's plan for a Royal Commission into the banks won't be matched. No, uh, we have a very clear view that ASIC has the powers of a Royal Commission. It wasn't so long ago that Julia Gillard was boasting about how well regulated the Australian banks were. Heading into an election with few budget gifts for voters is a difficult task. The PM speech confirms the Coalition's campaign strategy will involve selling Malcolm Turnbull the man and the economic record of Conservative governments of old. Eliza Borello, ABC News, Canberra.